Hello, welcome back. Oh my god, my eyelash stuck to my eyelash. Start over. Starting over. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello, welcome back to my channel. I, back in June, it's now July, thought I was doing a really nice thing for our rescued monkeys here at Alvea Sanctuary, and I gave them their first snow cone, and I thought it was really cute, and I tweeted it, and I was like, look how cute he is, this is his first snow cone, and it was so cute, and then Jay Schlatt, dun dun dun, came in and said, that's literally just ice, Maya, give him some flavor now. And so today, I'm going to attempt to make our rescued marmosets banana flavored snow cones. That's the video. Like and subscribe. Okay, I'm not giving our monkeys artificial banana flavor because one, it's not safe for them, and two, like, gross. So I have water and a banana, and for the syrup, I'm just gonna squish it together. But I'll do some ASMR, you're welcome. Welcome to the disaster of the laundry room here at Alveus. I am here for my industrial freaking snow cone machine. Oh, yes, perfect for one snow cone. And then ice. Shout out, we have a Amazon wish list with supplies for all of the animals and viewers purchase them off our wish list as gifts for the animals. So like treats and toys and stuff. You can check out our wish list if you want. We do a PO box stream every month. We don't mess around with snow cones for animals here. Ah! This is the snow cone maker. You put ice in here and you turn it, you don't put your fingies in there. Put ice in there, you turn it on and then you go and then it comes out like snow cone. You understand? These are our snow cones. They're gonna get them a little cute cone. It's about to get real loud. Okay, snow cone time. Thought. Perhaps I should make the syrup before I make shaved ice because the ice will melt. This is how you make natural banana syrup. I have no, I have no plan. Is it, maybe this is too much water. I'm just gonna squish it all. It's working better than I thought it could. It actually doesn't even look that bad. I think there's too much water in it, but the only route out of that without me having to get up is drinking it, and I won't. <laughs> That's not helping. I'm just trying to be like a blender. Yummy! Okay, so we're gonna make the snow cone. And then we're gonna drizzle it over and it's gonna be delicious. Okay. <laughs> okay, I accidentally made way too much snow cone. Dude, this thing works though, huh? That's crazy. I love this thing. Somebody bought this from the wish list, actually. Okay, so here, here it is. The good snow cones layer, you do a little Oh my god, it looks like a snow cone. I don't think the vendors like grab it. Okay, check it out, everybody. Wow, banana snow cone. Delicious. Wait, they actually might really like that. We have two marmosets, so I need to make two snow cones. Duh. Oh my god. They look delicious. <laughs> Time to go to the marmosets. Okay, so we're going to the marmoset enclosure. If there's anybody that doesn't know, I have an animal sanctuary that I live on, that I run. I founded it in 2021. We rescue animals and then do conservation education programs online. So the marmosets we rescued in December, there's Appa and Momo. They came from a neglect situation in Austin, Texas. Somebody bought them as pets, did not take care of them properly. And so they came to us with a list of medical issues, metabolic bone disease, dental disease, malnutrition, a vitamin D deficiency, and quite a few other problems. So we had them kind of in rehab for six months. Didn't show them at all online for six months because they were inside and we have to be really careful with the monkeys to not show them like they're pets because this is a huge problem for exotic animals, especially monkeys for some reason, is the exploitation of them in the pet trade. And so that's how we got the monkeys. They're rescued, they're not pets, but they do live here and we give them lots of enrichment and stuff like this to keep them happy in captivity. So let's go give them a snow cone. Appa! Hi, bud. I have something for you. Okay, this is Appa. He's a common marmoset and we have Momo as well. He's a black tufted marmoset up there. These are both Brazilian monkeys. And so they also, they have AC here because it's like 100 degrees in Texas, but it's a perfect day for a snow cone. He said, what is this? Are you ready? He's so ready. Momo, you want a snow cone? He go. Oh my God. <laughs> this all happened so fast. <laughs>
great. He's peeing in it. He really did pee in the snow cone. One of the reasons that you don't want these as pets is because they, okay, now he's on the cameraman. They mark everything and their ecological niche in the wild is to be seed dispersers. So their job is to eat fruits and veggies and everything, swing around the forest and poop everywhere to help with forest regrowth. And so they'll swing around your house and poop. That's one of the reasons we don't want them, but one of the reasons that we shouldn't have them is because it's just super unfair to them. This is their first time living in an outdoor enclosure before they were someone's pet and they were inside. <laughs> they were inside someone's house for their entire lives, which is just terrible for their welfare. They love being outside. They love being able to look at the sky and see birds and hear noises. So yeah, they're just, they're not made to be pets. So it's not just monkeys that people think that they want as pets and then don't work out as pets. We also have a fox here, Finn. He was confiscated from the illegal pet trade in California. Our parrots, most of them were surrendered pets as well. Just exotic pets that people think they want and then realize that they don't work out in someone's house. And it's just really unfair to these animals. The internet has made it really easy for you guys to see these animals. So you guys get up and close with these monkeys and up and close with the foxes. And there are videos on TikTok of all these animals, which is awesome, but it also has made illegal wildlife trafficking easier than ever because people can stay anonymous while they're doing it. And so that makes it a problem that's impossible for law enforcement to tackle alone. The good news is you guys can help play a role in the fight against illegal wildlife trafficking online. You can learn how to recognize the sale of illegal wildlife and their products and then report suspicious activity when you see it. Um, because World Wildlife Fund is one of the conveners of the Coalition to End Wildlife Trafficking online, it's a really cool system where they worked with tech companies to block and remove more than 11.6 million sales, 11.6 million sales online for endangered wildlife and you can help report suspicious content directly through a form that I'm gonna put in my description. If you guys see anything weird, if you see people selling tiger cubs, uh, you can go report it to this link and World Wildlife Fund will take it from there. It's really cool that they've shared this with me and I can share it with you guys because we're all online anyway and we all love animals obviously anyway. So check that out. If you guys see anything, remember to come back to this video and, and check out that link in my bio to help build a safer world for wildlife. Last chance on the snow cone. Do you want any more banana snow cone? I hate to say this, but I think Jay Schlatt was right. They definitely like it more with, with the banana flavor. Look at him. He loves a banana. He's going in there because they have AC in that room. <laughs> so, so he like wants to be a part of the action, but he also wants to be in the AC. Here you go, I'll put it right there. <laughs> oh, I'll hold it. There you go. <laughs> in the AC with his snow cone. That is one spoiled monkey. This video is being made at Alvea Sanctuary. We have these monkeys here. We also have parrots, we have foxes, we have reptiles, we have insects, we have crows, we have peeing monkeys. That's the second time he's peed in that snow cone. Third time he's peed in that snow, he's knocked the snow cone over. It's an animal sanctuary. We rescue these animals and we do conservation education online. We're gonna make this video a fundraiser. So if you wanna support Alveus directly through this video, that would be awesome. Um, helps pay for the care for these. Gross. Helps pay for the care of these animals and for the staff that, that take care of them. We have really awesome staff here that give them everything that they need to be really happy and enriched. And also, if you wanna support Alveus in a different way, we have new merch announcement. Guys, we're launching merch. Alveus is launching merch. 100% of the merch proceeds go to Alveus. Look, there's a t-shirt. Look, there's a t-shirt. Look at it, you see it? Look, and there's also a sweatshirt. I'm not putting it on because it's 100 degrees right now. But look, wait, this isn't even the best part. This is the best part. Are you kidding me? Shopalveus.org, the link's in the description. You have from now until August 4th to purchase it, go buy it. Thank you, that's all. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you wanna see more with the monkeys. They're really fun. Schlatt, thanks for uh, commenting on my Twitter so I could form you for a YouTube title. Like and subscribe. See you on the next one. Mm -hmm.